Amen. There are people sitting in this audience right now with property. You want brick and mortar? There are people like Jaleel Smith sitting right there who have brick and mortar who could assist you in finding a place for this woman who's found this year right here in the city of oh. Detroit. Very beginning, she told me she said it's a conflict of interest for you to back the Rhythm and Blues Foundation, and I disagreed with her because the people that are being inducted, we started out together. We did shows in the theaters four, four shows a day. Anybody in here that's entertaining know what I'm talking about? Just give me an amen if you want somebody. We did four shows a day, and somebody would come in and feed us in between shows, and uh, we would work all day long. A uh, back-to-back -back show, a show, a movie, a show, a movie, and, uh, and very little pay. But that's how we all got famous together, with the Drifters and the Coasters and Chuck Jackson and Tommy Hunt. And I'll keep going if you want me to. Anyway, when I talk about it, she said it's possible. It's a possibility of us getting together as uh, a union. And I'm having my birthday party and my 78th birthday party. <laughs> I expect us to fill this place because I can't afford this. <laughs> but I don't, want, I, don't want, I don't want it to be the story that uh, we have of Aretha Franklin. Y'all trying to do everything now to put a name on buildings and put a uh, name things after her streets and highways and everything. Well, you should have done that love while she was still here. Reeves and I love flowers. Give me my flowers while I'm here. to the city because I did dare be called an entertainer every day and be treated like a foreigner, although I am an ambassador all over the world. And I represent Motown very well. I speak well. I speak well and very loyal. And some people want to think that he was he was a wrong or cheated people. But let me tell you something. That was that man's house. He opened it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We could go in there any time we wanted to and make music. Mickey Stevenson, the a and director, was the reason why I was at Motown Records, and I saw a demo that he made on, made on a video exercise in his book. He didn't mention me or Kim Weston, his women, the first women that helped him become an a and director. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm not invisible, and I am although they did hurt my eye a little bit, the doctor said, it's going to be all right. Somebody would have got to stop somebody before they actually blind me. Stop that little put laser lights on me when I'm on stage. It's a second time it's happened. Now, I probably could sing a little better if I couldn't see, but I need to get a <laughs> I need to keep doing what I'm doing, like singing, dancing in the street, even though that child got on the 60th anniversary and did a mess of it, but I can't get mad at all. I can't get mad at Stone Rock, so let's say he was on me yesterday, and my sister. My girlfriend called me and asked me how to get tickets. You hear me? I hadn't heard from you. This is in 18 years. Because since you're finna tell me, you got enough time. See, I can't get it. But why you ease no longer than I can see you? <laughs> this ain't my show, but you're giving me an ambassador award. And I need to tell you that if we work real hard, we can get out these museums. I'm talking blood, sweat, and tears, not brick and mortar. Preserve us, protect us, represent us, keep us safe. Amen. Because I'm in danger. People thought I was had a, a game because I sang dancing in the street. I believed I lived on Ryan Pell Street, but it was a cobblestone. We had houses where we played our record players. And when I sang that, that's what I was talking about my neighborhood, the ghetto on the east side of Detroit. <laughs> Okay, so I love you all and thank you for this award and if I have a good chance to 
tell you the rest of this, I will.